there is an option to have your own fonts in iOS, like you literally have it in the settings and people don't really talk about it. And I'm going to show you how it works and sort of and what you can do about it, because probably when I tell you about fonts, you in your head pops up uh, the font keyboard, the funky looking stuff that people use or used to have on, on their Instagram bio and stuff. But I'm not talking about that. If you go to the settings and then to the general section, you can see if you scroll that there are some fonts. The font section literally says that you don't have any installed and you can download apps that install fonts from the App Store. So this is rather interesting. How does it work? Where can you use all of the fonts? Like what you can change and customize? Let's begin. There are multiple apps uh, that you can probably use, but the one I found is this one called iFont. And if you open it up, it pretty much tells you or gives you like an instruction page or something it gives you like a welcome page and there you can see some information about it but i'm gonna show you what it looks like when you open up the app so you have a couple of fonts there and uh, the way it works is that you actually go to the font finder and there you have a link to a couple of uh, known websites you can have like your own file in case you have downloaded it on a computer or you have it in your iOS files then you can import it as well but you can use these popular font websites like the font or a hundred or thousand and one free fonts or whatever so you go like this and you download pretty much whatever you want so you, let's say it's going to be this one you hit the download and now you can actually import it to iphone and now you just wait to see what's going to happen and if you come back to the main section within the app you're going to notice that there is this new font that is waiting for you to install it it's a bit of a process but by the way, I want to say that if you're new on this channel and if you don't want to miss next episodes or next videos in which I talk about some interesting topics and things regarding iOS, iPhones and Apple in general, then make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future videos and stuff like that. Anyways, so uh, as you can see right here, you just have to click on the install button and this is going to allow you to go to this section, make sure to hit allow then the profile has been downloaded so now you have to come back to the settings and go to the uh, fo uh, to the profile section and you're gonna have to make sure that you install this font and you hit install you type in your passcode and hit install one more time so it should be about it now the real question is of course once we come back to this uh, to the app it's going to tell you that it has been installed and you can see which apps support it or where can you actually use it what's the point of doing all of this well as you know this is not a jailbroken and iphone and such things don't probably don't exist anymore but anyhow the thing is that you can use it within certain apps that support it and there are some apps even from apple that allow you to use them like you have pages you have keynote you have numbers so you can install it and then you can use the fonts that you have downloaded and installed on your device uh, just as the font for using in uh, the pages, keynotes, numbers or other apps or some even third party ones. Notability, GoodNotes, these are probably the most known ones. Even drafts, I don't really know that one, but you know, people, a lot of people take notes using good notes, especially on their iPads. So, having the ability to download, install, and use a different third party font is really priceless, I would say, in order to make things fresh, to freshen up the look of your notes or your projects. This is definitely a way to go. Is it going to change the font of your iPhone UI? Definitely not. This doesn't exist. Apple will definitely not allow it. By the way, if you hear some sort of noise in the background, I'm sorry for that, but the fans are running because it's really hot, but yeah, you probably can hear it in the background. Okay, but back to the topic. Well, as I already showed you that you have to install a profile and you grant it access to your device. And in my personal case, it happened to me that some of the things got changed. It, for example, logged me out of WhatsApp for some reason and deleted my uh, albums in the photo gallery. I have no idea what's going on and it's kind of sketchy. I don't think it has access to anything else. I mean, of course, it's still profile 
and Apple iOS is really close operating system. So um, I don't think that it has access to anything else or to like any personal data, but just be careful with it. Of course, this is an app that has been mentioned a number of times in some really uh, great and known magazines and websites. So I don't think that it's some sort of sketchy stuff. But yeah, keep in mind that you give access to it and it's probably not like the best idea. If you don't really have to, don't just don't do it. Or if you don't intend on using it, just don't install it. I mean, it's not gonna be like worth it to play around with it. I mean, yeah. So this is everything what I wanted to say in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Also leave a comment if there's anything that you would like to let me know or if there are some thoughts that you would like to share. Make sure you do that and yeah, we see each other in the next video. See you guys later.